velvet mouse The velvet mouse The velvet mouse On my planet, he would be forced to practice in solitary confinement until he got it right. Your planet doesn't sound very fun. Fun is not in our vocabulary. <laughs> Sounds like you need a bigger dictionary. Hardly. Well, luckily for you, Earth is a total party planet. Yes, and I couldn't be happier to be stranded here. Beautiful, wonderful, lovely city. Lucky, are you sure you're okay? Oh, hello. Yes, it's just, um, well, I think I'm in love. Really? That's awesome, man! What's her name? <sighs> Sadie. Sadie? Like, like our Sadie? Like Sadie from next door? The very same. I can't stop thinking about her. Isn't she wonderful? Well, yeah, but... On my planet, we do not fall in love. We are assigned life partners. Beautiful, wonderful, lovely Sadie. No, stop that. Ah, stop that at once. I think it's cute. Lucky's in love! Guys, let's plan the wedding after rehearsal, okay? Donnie, can't that wait till after practice? Nope. Ah, Sadie. Sweet, wonderful Sadie. Do you even know I'm alive, Sadie? Am I a funny Valentine, Sadie? <laughs> Is that why you laugh whenever you see me, Sadie? <laughs> um, Donnie, after rehearsal, I think we'd better have a little talk about Lucky. They laughed at me when I said I would find a cure for baldness. They mocked me when I said that I could unlock the inner secrets of the mysterious hair follicle. In a moment, this peanut will be our shot heard round the world. We are rewriting history for the hair challenge. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, why <laughs> can't I have anything nice? <laughs> whoa! Somebody got peanut butter in my chocolate! Double whoa! The explosion came from next door! Hmm, I detect a radiated peanut with a touch of hair gel. <laughs> Who would mix peanut butter and hair stuff? The logical explanation would most likely be that bald man dangling from that tree. Oh, look! How lovely! He has a cat! I wonder if Sadie likes cats. Velvet Mouse. Velvet, this is headquarters. Thank heavens you're still alive. I'm a little busy right now. Can I call you back? Velvet, this is a matter of national security. Of life and death. Fine. Give me a moment. You were saying? Will somebody get me down from here? I say, how the devil did you get all the way up there? I had a cooking accident. Now will one of you be so kind as to help me down? I totally would, but I'm afraid of heights. Uh, I can vouch for that. This is fun. How will we get the strange bald man down? This is not a game, you nitwit. That's 
help me! Mumble, mumble, mumble. Hi, guys. Oh, Sadie. Uh, beautiful Sadie. I, I, you look very... Oh. Um, okay. So, did you guys blow something up made of peanut butter? No, the bald man did. Bald? Who are you calling bald? Oh, hi. I'm Sadie St. James, your new neighbor. Charmed. Uh, can you please help me out of this tree? Boys, we need to talk. Velvet! Boy, are we glad to see you. Hurry, there isn't much time. And what about me? Ooh, well, <clears throat> I say, where did everyone go? <coughs> oh, hello. Do you know any poems? That might help pass the time until... Lucky! Lucky. Well, that's me. I good you bid evening. Will somebody get me down? Max? Max? Max! The world is in grave danger. I could have told you that. I have been working undercover to crack the greatest mystery that Scotland Yard has ever faced. Who's Scotland Yard? <laughs> Donnie, it's not a person, man. It's a country. Ah, oh, Scotland. You know, Uncle Merlin has a second home there. It's wonderful. Actually, Scotland Yard is the name of the London police. Well, why isn't it called London Yard? Dude, obviously to trick criminals into thinking that all the police are in Scotland. Oh, then what are the Scotland police called? There is a conspiracy afoot, and I'm going to need your help. This will explain everything. A secret organization called Shadow has constructed a giant laser that has the capacity to alter the Earth's orbit. Whoa! It is their goal to eliminate Saturdays from the calendar. Apparently, they want a six-day week. Why? Though I am only recording, I imagine you may be asking, why? Uh, he's good. Shadow is an acronym for Saturday Haters Association, Department of the World. If they succeed, there will never be another Saturday again. No! Yes, I'm afraid so. Shadow plans to strike on a Friday night at the Hilldale Planetarium. Dude, we have tickets to Laserium on Friday. Donnie, this is serious. So am I. I live for Laserium. It is possible that Shadow will use Laserium as a cover. We have to stop them. Oh, man. Shadow's totally going to wreck the show. And alter the Earth's orbit. Guys, shh. Your mission is to disrupt Shadow and disable the laser using any means necessary. Good luck. All right, how do you turn this thing off? Winston? Ready to save the world? Oh, this sounds fun. What is a laser? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Laserium. Okay, guys, here's the plan. Donnie and I will slip backstage and stall the shadow agents. Jupiter will disable the laser. I'm going with you. No way, Sadie. It's way too dangerous. I have a press pass. I am a reporter, you know. Okay, you're in. Ooh, what fun. What do I get to do? Nothing. Nothing. Got it. What? But, but, why? Because you, Lucky, are going to keep an eye on the audience. Oh, yeah. Yes, yes, very good, very good. I shall blend into the audience even though I'm really keeping an eye on them. We need to take our positions. I shall take my post at once. Oh, I do love the theatre. You know, I was at the Globe for the prima nocta of Hamlet. Shakespeare. You! Me! Why are you sitting next to me? How are you this evening, my good doctor? I was fine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I want to direct my gaze in the opposite direction of you. Oh, may I look that way too? E-X-I-T. Exit. It says exit. I guessed it immediately. This is fun. Max, this was supposed to be our fun night out. Oh, no. This must be the laser. Not bad, by Earth standards. Okay, Jupiter, your time to shine. Dude, you just totally ruined Laserium. 
<laughs> Everybody, duck! Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Laserium will begin in just a few minutes. Finally! Oh no, I can't see the audience. You're not supposed to see the audience. You're supposed to look up at the ceiling, you half-wit wizard of odd! Oh, right then. Sorry. Up we go. Oh. Look at all the colors. <laughs> it reminds me of the Northern Lights. Also known as Aurora Borealis. Also known as... Will you please be quiet? Great galaxies, it's behaving like a quasar. <gasps> What's a quasar? A quasi-stellar radio source. Isn't a quasar a black hole? Precisely. Sean, Donnie, you guys get out there and stall the audience. Jupiter and I will handle this. The only way I can neutralize the laser is by reflecting its beam back on itself. Like a mirror? Exactly. Find me a highly polished reflective surface. Like a mirror? Ladies and gentlemen, Please remain seated during the performance. <laughs> Hello, people of Hilldale! Oh, uh, now what? Uh, before we start the show, we need a highly polished reflective surface, please. Like a mirror! Does anyone have a highly polished reflective surface? Like a mirror? You! <laughs> Dr. X, do you have a highly polished reflective surface? Like, no. I do not have a highly polished reflective surface. I do have a ticket to see a laser show set to soothing classical music. Now get off the stage so I can see my show! Dude, Laser Beethoven is on Sunday afternoon. Tonight is Laserium Presents Rock and Roll Eruption! Ah! Another night ruined! Ruined! Guys, I think we found our highly polished reflective surface. Jupiter, aim for Dr. X's head. How dare you? Oh, it's so beautiful. Compared with your radiant glow, dear Sadie, tis but a goose egg. Lucky! <laughs> Here's your wig, Dr. X. Thank you. And please tell your friends to leave my head alone! Good night. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, where's Velvet? Guys, I think we just saved the world. We did save the world, didn't we? Totally! And we made the best Laserium show ever! <sighs> Drowning in pickles. Hello. There's only one thing missing.